all the way back in 2017, I started a Football Manager YouTube save that became very, very special to me. It was a save as AC Milan and I had so much fun and it was by far the biggest save I've ever done on YouTube. So many people enjoyed it. I enjoyed it and I always wanted to go back, but I felt like I can't do back-to-back -back saves for the same team. I need to do something else. So the years went on and on from 2017 and now we're almost at 2021. It's finally time to come back home. And yes, it is official. I am the new AC Milan manager. And of course, AC Milan doesn't need any introduction. It's a club with a fantastic history. And we're going to come back to that history soon. And there are some familiar names in the club. Some players that are still around since back in my 2017 save. But there's also a lot of new names that I need to get to know. And um, we are a club with a tight budget. Which means um, we need to focus on signing youngsters for the first team. We can't afford to sign experienced uh, world-class players. We need to focus hard to stay within the wage budget. And also, we have some uh, pretty modest um, goals for the season. With only qualifying for Europa League the first season. It's not until the second season they want us to reach uh, the Champions League. And of course, when you start the first season of Football Manager, the transfer window has um, sort of already happened. So I'm not going to focus on these transfers right now because it's not me who done them. I can't take any credit for them, but you can pause uh, the video here and take a look at them yourself if you want to. Instead, I'm going to go straight to the to the team report and the squad depth. I always go here whenever I take uh, control of a new club. So I feel like this is a really good screen to tell me where my strengths and weaknesses are and uh, maybe ideas for what formation to play. And of course, in uh, in what uh, positions I uh, desperately need to, to strengthen the squad. But it's going to be very hard to strengthen the squad because we, uh, we have a transfer budget of 15 mil and uh, we are already at the cap of the wage budget, which means we need to sell to be able to, to buy. So uh, I mentioned history before, and from this screen you can really see that uh, AC Milan has fallen for grace such a long time since their last major title and of course if you check the league it's been completely dominated by Juve. You need to go all the way back to the 2010-2011 season to find AC Milan's last title which means yeah we need to change it but it's going to be a difficult journey. It's going to be a really difficult journey and it's probably going to take quite some time to turn this ship around. So, we've gone all through the summer and we are about to play the first league game of the season. But first we need to catch up to see what's been going on during the summer. And we started off this preseason with a pretty weak financial situation. That gave us a real problem, because we had a few very important players that sat on expiring contract. And the most important one was this one, Donnarumma, our world-class goalkeeper. His contract was about to expire after this season. And we couldn't afford to offer him a new one. So we needed to get money in. We needed to change transfer revenue for a wage budget to even be able to get him a new contract. So we had, that was a tough one. And it took actually took quite a long time before we managed to get him to sign a new contract. But I believe with some rough negotiations, I managed to get his uh, wage down a little bit lower than it is at the start of the game. But let's take a look at the transfers and the transfer history. So, another player that had a one year left of his contract that had no interest at all in signing a new deal was this one. It was Hakan, and I'm not going to try to pronounce that last name. As you can tell, he's a very good player. He was one of our best players. But with only one year left on the contract, and he said, like, I don't want to sign a new contract. There's no way I'm going to sign a new contract. I had to choose between either use him for a season and then lose him for free or sell him right now and maybe not get as good price as I would like to. And considering our very, very strained financial situation, I had no choice. We had to sell him. This says 23 mil here, but you can also see 32.5, so some close souls. And uh, hopefully these ad zones are going to happen. Most of them are very realistic. But yeah, clearly I would have liked to get more money from him, but we didn't have any choice. And as I said earlier, most of these transfers happen before the game starts. I did a few signings myself. One could be considered a bit controversial because it is a signing from Inter, but it is Roberto Gagliardini, and he was transfer listed for only 5.5 mil. 
So I felt we got a lot of value for what we paid. And we also needed another central midfielder because I'm going to be playing two or three plays here. Uh, right now, I kind of have uh, three good plays in this position before I signed him. So he became the fourth man. So now I have four good plays that can rotate in, in the mid. And as you see, like, look at his stats. Like, he is not bad. For, uh, for a transfer list of 5.5 mil, it's already worth uh, almost 20 mil. So we could sell him on in the future for a good profit. And he is just what we need this season. And the other guy we signed was another transfer listed one. It was Tin Jedvai. And he plays in a position where we kind of <laughs> didn't need him. But he was transfer listed for 2.5 mil. I felt like this was another really good deal for the money. Where we could like we could even at least use him for a season and sell him on with a profit. But looking at his stats here as a right side defender. Like yeah, more or less most of his stats is really good for that position. We have a lot of players that can play in this position with his... Uh, <laughs> not great, but he can also play it pretty decently as a central defender if anything happens inside. His only his heading department is a bit weak, he's good at both marking and, and tackling. I actually got a, a few youth players. I got uh, Tongaya for like nothing from Juve. Not sure if you're ever going to break into our squad, but I felt like that's somebody that we could uh, loan out for a season or two, get his value up and then sell on with a profit if he never makes it into our first team squad. And uh, the same with uh, Rovea. We got him really, really cheap, just over 1 mil. Not sure if we're ever going to break into our first team squad, but another play that we could loan out for two seasons and sell on with, with a good profit, I believe. Uh, we'll have to wait to see if anyone uh, makes it into our first team squad. But that's more or less where we stand right now. The transfer window is still open for quite some time. I'm trying to get more youth players because, of course, we can't uh, afford any, any bigger names. So the preseason then, let's take a look at the schedule. We played quite a few games, but the big one, we actually had a friendly versus Juve. And looking at the result, it's almost a little bit weird, because the only game we lost was versus Monza. And Monza is definitely their stronger teams here, that probably should be giving us uh, more trouble. But other than that, the preseason went pretty well. But I also played a EuroLeague qualifier. I didn't feel like this game was big enough to, to have as a starting game. It was an easy opponent. We got a I, I basically rested more or less everybody that's going to start this game. So we used a much weaker team and we managed to win with ease anyways. Today, it's all about Parma. And Parma is the first game. We are starting away versus them. Let's go to the season preview. And we have the odds for this in different positions. And according to this one, Parma should be fighting kind of low. Well, we should be fighting for a position a little bit higher up. And to be realistic, we have a lot of young players, a lot of young players, but we have quite not the uh, the strength to be fighting for a league title. But we have quite a few lads with the young players with with good potential, which means that a big chunk of our team will be getting better during the season and become stronger and stronger, keep on uh, developing. So we are going to end the season with a stronger team than we started. But our goal have to be a Champions League spot. We, we won't be able to shine, challenge for the title yet, but hopefully we will in the near future. But now we've been talking far too long, it's time for some football. So I've been um, mostly playing Gegenpress uh, as my uh, tactical style. Um, usually I've been playing like uh, this. But since this is an away game, I'm starting this one a little bit more defense-minded with a defensive midfielder. And I'm kicking, I'm keeping Gagliardini on the bench because he's just joined us. I think it was like one day ago. So he still uh, has some fitness concerns. As, but he will come on during the second half, definitely start building on his fitness. So let's submit the team and uh, see what happens here. By the way, I love these uh, new official team sheets. I hope... Uh, some skin then will add the players faces to the side i think that could become even fancier but yeah well game on i'm excited this is the first real game not counting not counting that uh, tiny little cup game in uh, before this one but this is the real start of the season this is real start of the save but unfortunately we see parma with the first highlight but yeah i'm excited for this one i had so much fun like for all the youtube saves i've ever done the old AC Milan one is probably my favorite one. And I'm, I've been longing to get back to this club and do another same for such a long time now. So I'm, a, I'm like a kid at Christmas, just looking forward to this save. It's going to be so much fun. Well, unless I screw up and I get sacked and, uh, well, it ends in tears. But now we see Parma again. This, oh, it's going to be a penalty. It's going to be a penalty for sure. 
this is a really bad news and we are off to a nightmare of star maybe not we're going to see a four actually i haven't this is the first time i see a, a vhr shake i haven't seen any in um, in the preseason Ah, Donnarumma went in the right direction, but it was just not good enough. We are going to change our mentality around to a uh, attacking one. Let's also shelter the team. I'm going to demand more. But we see Parma once again. I think I'm going to do tactical changes after this highlight if uh, if it, nothing turns around and it actually shows up as a highlight for us. Because this looks far away from the preseason. Every single preseason game we've done, we've been dominating, we've been creating chances, but uh, this game has been all about Parma. We could give it a little bit longer, but I'm really, really considering changing the formation up going with the central attacking midfielder that we have been using for quite a few games. And uh, yeah, looks like Parma again. Come on, lads, this is not what we expected at all. Or maybe this is the counter-attack. This could be his breaking through. And he's called by himself, all by himself, into the box. And nothing, come on! And he fires Kissy. And look at the front Kissy with the equalizer. And yes, I must admit, I'm dancing here in the chair by myself. I'm smiling. We are back and we are in it. The first real goal of this save. I'm so happy. I'm so excited and yeah, I'm just smiling right now. So yeah, maybe we're gonna stick with this formation a little bit longer then. We are heading into half time here. Clock takes on and on. And that is the half time whistle. So we're gonna to go to dressing room. We clearly we are going to point fingers at them. We need to tell them that we're not happy. Let's go to the tactic screen. We're gonna change this one up to a a um can I, let's see, I haven't done much experimenting with the tactics during the game here. Who would be the best option as our central attacking midfielder without making any subs of our three central ones? Right now, Tonal is up. Probably not a great option, considering like none of these are great options for it. But maybe some of them is a little, yeah, look, Benasser looks so much uh, more comfortable in that role. So yeah, let's go like this. And mentality, we're going to stay... Actually, let's go uh, positive now that we are playing a little bit more attack-minded formation. And since we are, we now have equalized. So second half, hopefully, is going to look a little bit stronger. And we have a throw-in here. It's going to be Theo or Tonali. Tonali changes flank into the box. And look at that! It is his real competitive debut. Our new signing, 2.5 million euros, Tin Jedvai. And talk about starting to pay back on that 2.5 mil. It's actually a, that cross, so much room for Jedvai. And that is a nice finisher. What a debut. But now, Parma is back. It's going to be a freak. Oh, this is a really, really, really dangerous. Free kick, and uh, that was kind of a messy camera angle. But uh, I guess we are safe for now. We are going to see Theo here with a throw in. And into the box for Ibrahimovic. Slatan Ibrahimovic, the man, the myth, the legend. Slatan Ibrahimovic, his first goal of the season. And I'm willing to bet my box that won't be his last goal of the season. Actually, kind of crappy defending, but I mean, it is Ibrahimovic, and you know that he is pure magic. I think it's time to take a look at some subs first. Who's having a bad day at work? I mean, more or less all our defense is having a bad day at work. I think we're going to focus on tying plays instead. So, we're going to bring in... Uh, I mean, Diaz is lacking fitness too. I still think we're going to bring in Diaz. He is a perfect match for that position, at least the best we can bring in right now. Other than him, uh, I guess, yeah, it's looking anxious. Oh, actually, what we could do, this could be our new signing here. Gagliardini is going to replace an anxious Kessier. And uh, we're going to change him around as a box-to-box. Uh, -box. Perfect. Let's uh, confirm the changes. And then play on for a few more minutes before we go for our last sub. Actually, is it, uh, wait, uh, is it Corona rules? Might 
Do we have an extra sub? I'm not quite sure. But we see a free kick into the box and it's clear by the defense. I'm actually going to try if I have two subs. I'm not, I'm not sure how Football Manager has done that because some leagues, I believe, because of the Corona, has uh, an extra sub. But we we'll just have to wait and see. Donnarumma is getting a really low rating, but so is Kier here. So I think we're going to go with him. We have quite a few defenders injured right now because you start uh, with uh, two central defenders in injured as uh, as AC Milan. They are will be coming back soon. Good to rotate uh, as long as we only have this few. Let's see if we can make one extra sub now. Let's see. We could. Can we make uh, two extra subs? I'm just trying right now. Just seeing what what will work. Wait. How many subs can we do? How many subs? Okay, this is starting to feel like a, a friendly again with all these subs. Um, I'll guess we could keep on trying to see what happens here. I'm kind of confused on how many subs we're allowed to do. But um, let's just. Okay, now it says no. So we have a lot of subs. I'm surprised at that. I thought like we might have one extra, but we had subs. We had so many subs. And we're going to take extra time, four minutes of extra time. This is a great start to the season. Winning away versus Parma. And uh, yeah, really good start to the season. Let's go into the dressing room. Let's uh, embrace. Yep, that was done. Good win, lads. Good win. And we're off to a glorious start of the first episode. And you guys know what? First episode, we managed to win. I would love if you guys could help me start off this series by just pressing that like button. It helps me out. It helps the new series out. I would be really, really grateful for that one. And of course, ask question, talk, write your feelings in the comment section below. I'm going to read every single comment and I'm going to try to answer every single one of them. If you're new here, subscribe so you don't miss the next episode because I want you to watch the next episode with me. So yeah, thank you for watching.